everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today was another school day, but it was a very good school day. The kids did their work, and um, Kyle says that, he says, wow, I'm entering the world of cursive. <laughs> <laughs> He's learning how to write the lowercase letters. They haven't started them on capital letters yet. And Paige, she was working on her cursive, too. She's doing capital letters. And he was connecting some words. They both were connecting some words, some letters. So they're they're finding it a little bit fun to write. And then Paige, want, she says, how, I don't know how to make a capital K. Well, they make their K. I looked at her printings of how they make the letters. And her K is like a printed K. And I says, ours had a little loop on the top, or a little swoosh, and then down. Hers doesn't have that. Hers is just straight down. And it's like, hmm, mine is fancier. I, I must have learned how to, to do things fancier. Then I, then I showed her how I would do it if I was doing calligraphy, which is really pretty. And I says, you know, there was letters I didn't like when I was learning how to write because they were always difficult. Like I never liked making the M, and I never liked making the the W. I really didn't, and I didn't like making the E. But now that I know calligraphy, I like making the M, the W, and the E because they they are prettier. And the B is actually a very pretty letter too. And I like words that have the lower lower k lower levels of. Like when you make the A, E, I, R, S, T, these, they're actually lower. The um, B and the L are higher, but they've got a crook on them when you are, I'm talking, I'm talking calligraphy. But for cursive, they tell them to make sure you don't make the loop too fat. You don't want a fat belly on your L. You want them a tall and slender L. But it was, and that, writing is something that I enjoyed, and they seemed to enjoy it too. While they were writing and working on their work, I'm up there with them, and I sit by the window and I put Mr. Brown outside so that he can play in the garden. And I'm watching him, listening to my videos, watching them, and trying to do Tunisian crochet. I'm making a, it's, this is round. It's going to be round. It's supposed to be done with many different colors, but I wanted to do it all in one color. This is the same, this is that cotton, but this is the Tunisian stitch. And this is a tun Tunisian hook. And I forgot what it was called when you close it. I have to look that up. I have to watch the video again how they closed it. I'm going to try and do it again because it's supposed to make like a, an invisible closure. I still have more more panels to make. There's the Tunisian has it's supposed to be I think six panels and I've only got I think five here. So I have another one to go to make the complete circle so that I can connect so that when I connect it it'll be flat. But you you lay it flat when you're connecting. <laughs> Those of you that don't like to crochet or whatever I think that's probably very very ah that's enough of that talk. I don't even understand <coughs> what you're trying to say. I don't either, so, <laughs> but we will figure it out. I um, tested Mr. Brown as far as, I said to Jim, I says, you know, he likes his old cage better than his new cage that he's in. The kitty hutch, and my daughter goes, well, maybe it still smells like the cat. No, the cat's been out of it for many years, and it's been stored up in my little house on the hill. So it's not had a cat in it for a long time, but he really does like his old cage better. But I'm going to keep putting him in, in his new one because it's a it's a it's taller. It's he has he he he's got more room to sleep in, and it's just for sleeping right now. When I came up here, he was sitting on my towels. I have a a container with just. They're rag, actually rag towels is what they are. They're too good to throw away, but yet not good enough to use. But I don't want to throw them out. So he's he's been sitting on them today. As long as he doesn't poop on them, they'll be okay. I, I put 
um, a towel across the top so that that's the only one I'd have to wash. The rest of them will stay okay. So, I think that was it. What? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. He just went like this, and guess what that means? That means camera pictures. I was, I'm going to put a picture in about, it's going to be maybe a couple pictures. I'm not sure how many I'll put in, but there'll be some pictures of the little hen that's growing rooster tails so that you can see. And I'm, I might put my rooster in too. I don't know. I might put some of the other hens in that are there too. So I hope you enjoy the little picture show. <laughs> Can you believe she's actually growing feathers? Now, when she, if she tries to crow, then I will know she's changing over. We did have a bird that I named her, I think I named it Louise or, or, or um, something. I named something her something. Like yeah. And she ended up being a rooster girl. She was not, and she was never very nice. In fact, she went to freezer camp. And when my nephew took her, he put her, of course, in the little dog carriers is what they put them in when they carry them from my house to their house. And when he went to get her out, or him out, or it out, the darn thing grabbed his hand, shook it like this, like it was trying to kill it, and gave him a bad sore on the on the crook of on the crook, this part of his hand. Um I had that that little hen or a rooster hen, whatever she was, or it was, killed one of my buffs. And that's why I decided this one has got to go. Because my buffs are my original girls, and they, they will live out their life of happiness at my house. They, they may lay eggs, and then again they may not. Right now they're still laying eggs, so I'm still good. But I'm not getting a lot of eggs. I get about, at the most, I get six eggs. And I've got probably, I don't know how many can lay mm. eggs. I have no idea. I have to count them. But I know in the spring, they all should be able to lay because they will all be old enough. Well, that's my video for today. Hope you all enjoyed and had a great day. And I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.